Hi kids! So if you have not done so already, please open up a new note and notability, title it Five Principles of Natural Selection, and please add this. It's not added to your vocab, but it will be on the test. So I miss you guys and I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm just going to teach you a little bit about natural selection today. So we already talked about natural selection being organisms with traits that are best suited to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce, meaning if they can blend in or anything like that, they live and they have offspring. So there are five principles of evolution about natural selection. It's kind of Principles are kind of like saying there are five laws. The first one is organisms produce more offspring than can survive. So the way of saying that in seventh grader language is Organisms that die a lot have more babies. That is the reason humans kind of only have one or two. We don't have that issue. We don't have a lot of death rate. We don't have a lot of predators. Like the turtles in the picture here, um, if you can tell, they have lots and lots and lots of babies. Or you guys know how much you love Nemo. It's the same thing with Nemo. They had thousands of eggs because they have many predators. So if they actually want their species to survive, they need to be able to have many children. Otherwise, that species would die off. Number two, variations, differences. That's my seventh grader way of saying variations. Variations occur among individuals of a species. They all look different from each other. Variations are also, or differences, are passed on to the offspring, meaning the variations are actually inherited. They are in their genetic code. Just to define variation, because this is a vocabulary word, so make sure you add it to your vocabulary template. A variation is an inherited trait that makes an individual different from members of its species. And here you see the variation here would be white coloring. That would be the inherited, it's passed on to the kids. So it must be a recessive trait that makes an individual dif different from the other members of its species. Ours could be hair color, eye color, those are all variations. The fourth principle of natural selection is that some variations are helpful. And individuals with helpful variations survive and reproduce better. Going back to this screen, if for some reason the world was, you know, a winter all around, these variations, you think about it and answer in your own head right now, which ones would actually help the organisms to survive? So think about it. Ding, ding, ding! It would be the white ones in a white world would help them survive. So sometimes that inherited trait, if it's helpful, they survive better and they reproduce better. The simple reason they reproduce better, you guys, is the other ones have a higher chance of death because they cannot blend in with their environment. Adaptation. So again, here's another vocabulary word for today, so make sure you add it to your vocabulary template. An adaptation is any variation that makes an organism better suited to its environment. So here you have two rabbits. Okay, you have a white rabbit blending in with a white background. It has adapted to its environment. You have the exact same rabbit. This is a type of rabbit that actually sheds its fur in the spring, and underneath it has white fur. So, um, and this rabbit in the spring or summer has a brown coat to blend in with a brown environment. So it has adapted the ability to actually change its coat over time through, with seasons to blend in. Okay, why? To hide from predators so it can survive. So that adaptation or variation made it more positive to survive the environment. And the fifth one, I'm sorry it's cut off, so you're going to have to listen, guys. Over time, the offspring of individuals with helpful variations make up more and more of the population and eventually become a separate species is what is missing. So I'm going to repeat that because I know the screen is cut off. I apologize. But you guys should have it in. It's on my website. You can download this. So over time, the offspring, over a long, 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 long time, the offspring of individuals with helpful variations make up more of the population and eventually become an entirely separate species. So just to repeat the five principles of nat natural selection, I'm going to repeat them in seventh grader and science language. Number one, organisms produce more offspring than can survive. So I want you to think about that, you guys, right now. So living things have more babies if they have more predators. Think about your animals, your cats and dogs. They have more predators than us. They die a little more easily. Um, turtles, fish, 
Many organisms have multiple births, and that is why. So organisms produce more offspring than can survive. Number two, variations occur among individuals of a species. There's differences. They look different from each other. Variations are passed on to the offspring, meaning these variations are in their genetic code, their instructions, their DNA, their genes. And a variation, by definition, is an inherited trait that makes an individual different from other members of its species. It gets passed on. Number four, some variations are helpful. Some, remember, kind of just like mutations, and some might not help it, some might hurt it, and some might be no effect. Individuals with helpful variations survive and reproduce better. An adaptation, by definition, is any variation that makes an organism better suited to its environment. If you remember New Beast Discovered, you guys, this is, you made adaptations to make your beast survive in our imaginatory environment. And you guys, don't overthink. Don't overthink these, please. You know them better than you think. We're just adding science words. And then number five, over time, the offspring, the children, the kids, the babies, of individuals with helpful variations, they end up making more and more of the population, eventually becoming a separate species. Number five will make a lot more sense when you guys do peppered moth tomorrow, which have fun. That's one of my favorites. So you do need to know these. You do need to memorize them, and they will be on the test. So what you're doing in your sheet and notability, okay? So again, what you are doing in the separate sheet you made in notability labeled the five principles of natural selection is you are writing the science version. But then you are also writing a separate version next to it or underneath that is the seventh grader version. I need you to simplify them and explain them in your own words. That is your assignment. But now we're going to talk about artificial selection. We kind of started this with science of dogs. Artific artificial selection is similar to um, what they were talking about in science of dogs. So artificial selection, this is your last vocabulary word for today, so there it is, is the process of breeding plants and animals for particular or certain genetic traits. An example, like we talked about, is breeding a dog specifically for speed, herding, and attitude, okay, or personality. So you normally if you have a dog, you have it for a certain reason, and that behavior might have been, or that a behavior or appearance was bred into the organism. Okay, so that's where we're going today. That is all you want you to do. Artificial selection was a vocabulary word. And then variation and adaptation. So I repeat, your assignment now after this is to always, you guys, always, 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 red, yellow, green, your notes. What I get, what I don't get, what do I need to study more, what do I need a teacher's help with. Don't forget to ask Miss Ferry for help if you need any. Okay, you also have to add adaptation, variation, and artificial selection to your vocabulary. I have my website updated if you need help with that. And then the last two things you are doing is in your sheet notability, you are rewriting these. And then you are also writing it in your own words or seventh grade writing them. And the very last thing you are doing is you may go on my website and if you scroll down to today's date there is a link of a 10 minute video that you will enjoy about how a mouse has adapted to its environment and it's showing natural selection and that explains number five a little bit better too. If there are any questions please ask Miss Ferry and you are welcome to go over this assignment on your own in your notes it's the same download you have already. I miss you guys and I hope you are being good. Um, I will see you in a few days. Bye.